Hey gang, uh, I did this song called Shaken or Bacon, which I wrote, uh, and uh, what I wanted, well, I wrote that actually, I had the chorus and two verses, and I sent it to a friend of mine named Tom Griffith, and he finished it up with another verse and a chorus. And uh, he's just about as sick as I am, so that's why I wanted him to do this. But I want to describe the, uh, the, the chord progression here, because this is a ragtime chord progression. Uh, it goes from a G, G7, to a C, back to the G. Then it goes to an E, A, D7, G, G7, C, and then an E flat 7. I'm primarily using an alternating uh, back and forth picking, going back and forth. And here's something too that I do a lot of is I'm going to use my the palm of my hand to give a little muting on the strings. Because I like doing that because when I play on the treble string, it's a little bit more of a, of a sound separation. So for the G chord, I'm kind of going back and forth with the, with the sixth and the fourth string. The C chord, I'm going back with the fifth and fourth string. When I go down to the E chord, I go back. Sometimes I usually use the sixth and fourth string. The A chord, I do the fifth string and fourth string. And the D7, I'll do the fifth and fourth again. G. G7, still on the sixth and fourth string. C. When I go to that E flat 7, I'll go to the 4th and 3rd string. I'll get that. And then get down to the E7, A7, D7, G. Now, what I'm putting on top of that, I'm really singing at this point, so I don't want to have it get too busy. When you're, when you're finger picking, you don't want to get too busy. Uh, when you're when you're singing because then people may not really catch the lyrics and they may not even hear the lyrics um, and then they get mad at you and then they don't pay you and then and then you then you go home and you can't pay your bills and then you lose your car your house and then you wind up then you wind up selling pencils and and sleeping under bridges so this is why you don't want to play too much underneath the vocals all right you want to keep the vocals going so I'm just doing this Light pinching, you know. So that's all I'm really doing there. I'll add the. Just every now, just hit a note and be. is when you're going from a G down to an E, you can walk that down. Doesn't this guitar sound great? It's at the... Using that E flat seven, the reason I use an E flat seven, I'm going. I could have just stayed on the C. You know, but it. Here's the thing about putting an E flat seven in there. It's gonna take you back to the G. That's what we call tension and release. All music, make it interesting, has tension and release. Life has tension and release. It's like breathing in and breathing out. When you breathe in, people now want to breathe out, and that that gives this sort of interest in music. You know, if you were, if I was to end the song.
wouldn't work, see? You're all tense right now. But if I was going to... Doesn't that feel better? That's right. If I ended that song like that, I'd be selling pencils. So you want to just get that... And back to there. So all here's how you can do this in any key to add a little interest if you're going to end your song okay if you're in the key of g use an e flat seven and then end it in g now that relationship between the g and the a flat seven uh you if you want to do in, in, in the key of c you can use an a flat seven Let's get C and R. A flat seven, G seven, C. So you can end a song. Most people would end a song in the key of C, hitting a G seven. Just before they go back to that C chord, hit the G seven, C. But if you really want to. That's how you'd end it in the key of C. And I got that by going up to the fifth from a C chord. One, two, three, four, five. There's my G, G7 to C. And then go one fret higher. A flat seven, G7, C. So same thing in the key of G. In G. Four, five. You're in the key of G. Go up to the five. One, two, three, four, five. That's a D note. But now make it interesting. One fret higher from a D seven is an E flat seven. That sound regal. It's almost as if you should get a robe, like you play for the queen. For the Queen, actually, I played for the Queen of England. I did. I played for the Queen of England is what I did. That's what I did. Well, she, at least she said she was the Queen. Anyway.